So LA has been on lockdown now for around three to four weeks. I am really bored. Basically, I've just been sitting on Netflix all day and like scrolling through TikTok, which is dangerous as fuck. All these kids are dyeing their hair pink and like doing fun things and it's getting me inspired. So I thought it would be fun for me to learn how to bleach my roots at home for obvious reasons. It's been around five to six weeks since I've had my hair done last, but obviously I haven't been able to get to the salon and so I literally look like Joe Exotic. I hate how this looks and every single time I look in the mirror, I wanna throw up, so I need to fix it. I literally just looked it up on YouTube and found like a whole bunch of videos of girls like mindlessly doing their roots at home and I bought what they bought. So I ordered all of this stuff from Sally's online. Um, in my original order, I had ordered two of these cream lighteners from Ion. It's just like the bright white. To me, it was just appealing for me to not have to like mix the powder bleach with the developer and like I failed chemistry and like I was worried about like not being able to do that right. I thought that this would just be easier, but it turns out that you still have to mix this with developers. So that I didn't order. So after all of this stuff had gotten here and I was ready to bleach my hair, I had to place another order for like a big bottle of 21 Velvet. When it got here, it was this big. I had to go pick this one up that's like a normal size. And I did 20 volume. My hair usually lifts really easily and I have like pretty light hair to begin with, contrary to what it might look like. And I also just ordered a mixing bowl and a little brush and the Wella T18 Lightest Ash Blonde Toner. I like this toner the best just because I like to have my hair like completely white. I'm gonna section it into four sections to start. Okay, I think I need to phone a friend. Okay, so I'm bleaching my hair right now. Oh cool, how's it going? Um, well I haven't started yet. <laughs> I've only okay. sectioned my hair. It says like what, do a one to one ratio or a one to two ratio. Do you think I should? One to one. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do a one to one. Put like a bunch. I'm gonna put like that much. I'm just mixing it together. Oh, it smells so good. Did you guys like huffing when you were little? I'm probably gonna start right here with this section. Okay, so I'm using this mirror to kind of see what I'm doing, but I think that you guys have a pretty good idea. Keep in mind, bleach does expand, so I am doing my best to not like get it on the hair that's already blonde because I don't want my hair to fall off. I literally can't see what I'm doing. I didn't even like factor this into like my process at all. I like never thought like, oh, maybe you need to see the back of your hair. So honestly, I don't even know what you saw last. I had a full-blown meltdown because I had a really hard time doing the back of my head. I ended up just letting the whole back process without doing the front just so that I could wash that out and then I wouldn't have to worry about it like literally melting my hair off while I was doing the front. So I washed it out. If you notice, it is a little bit yellow. But that'll for sure go away when I do the toner, so I'm not super worried about that. I'm gonna do the front now, which I think will be definitely a little bit easier. And if it's not, Girl, I will never be doing this again. Oh, no, I got it wet. So I got my little buns wet. So I have to dry them because I don't think you're supposed to bleach wet hair. Why is this side so short? Okay, this is gonna be a little bit easier than doing the back just because I can like obviously see what I'm doing. I used to get like a full head highlight because I liked to have a little bit more of a root. Obviously my hair grows in really dark, so I didn't like to have to get my hair done literally every three weeks. And one time I was in West Hollywood. I met this guy. He was like, oh my God, I love your blonde. I do hair. And he was like, I do hair at Tony and Guy. I would love to do your blonde at the time I was paying like $2.50 every time I got my hair done. And he was like, I'll do your hair for free. And I was like, oh my God, amazing. I text him and I'm like, hey, you said you could do my hair. He was like, oh yeah, for sure. Like I'll come over and do it. And I was like, you want to come to my apartment and do my hair? So I invited him to my apartment and he came and he did my hair. Well, okay. He started to do my hair and maybe 20 minutes in, he starts asking like, so what are you thinking for pricing? Like how much do you want to pay? I didn't want to be like, what? I thought you were doing it for free, even though he had like fully said that. So I was like, well, I mean, I don't know what is your pricing he's like oh well we'll talk about it later whatever hours into doing my hair he had only done this front section of my hair 
I had somewhere to be. So it was like, I literally have to leave. Like I'm, we're, we're gonna have to like finish this another time. I literally left, I'm gonna put up a picture of what it looked like. It looked like I had just gotten a full bleach out with like grown out roots. I sent him a picture of it and I was like, is it gonna like look like this in the end? Like this is not working. Like I literally had like a full one inch like black root and then just all blonde, which was not what I was used to. I was used to having like a blended blonde. I'm like freaking out because obviously it looks terrible. So I'm like, please come back like literally as soon as you possibly can. And he just wouldn't reply to any of my texts, wouldn't pick up my calls, like just ghosted me. You did half my hair. It looks terrible. Like I need you to finish it. Finally, I like got a hold of him again and he came over to like finish my hair honestly my i shouldn't have even had him do that because it looked so bad that it was like irreparable halfway through him finishing my hair he goes so i graduate school in a couple weeks and i'm like oh cool what are you going to school for and he goes hair i literally just looked at my roommate like what the fuck because i'm not paying to have a hair student do my hair i was so so unhappy with how my hair turned out but honestly it was like one of those things where it was completely my fault for just not like doing my research and I just had to suffer it comes time for me to pay him I am not kidding he literally charged me a hundred dollars more than I was paying before so I literally paid him I think like 350 or something which I usually paid around like 250 to get my hair done every time or I could have been like dude you literally told me that you were gonna do it for trade and you are not even a licensed cosmetologist but I am one of those people who cannot speak up so I paid him his $350 and went on my way it nearly ruined my life because now ever since he did my hair like that I had to do a bleach and tone after that because he had gone so far up with the blonde on the root that I had no choice it's not like I could just like let my roots grow out I would literally look like a crack whore not only did I pay him $350 to do my hair badly I now have to get my hair done every three weeks for the rest of my life honestly if he had just told me like he was like in hair school I was so stupid I probably still would have let him do my hair keep in mind he literally made me get in the shower and wash my hair myself like he was like towel drying me on the couch like you know when you like tell a story that happened like years ago and it's still just as infuriating that's how I feel I think it is starting to lighten up over here honestly I look cute I think I did a really good job on the front obviously presentation isn't like a hundred percent but I definitely did the job okay but how sick is this shower cap i'm like hey all you cool cats and kittens it's carol baskin from big cat rescue you can see it's starting to lift over here honestly i don't envision this looking absolutely terrible but there is definitely still time for this to go bad okay lie this is pretty much worst case scenario literally what the fuck i'm supposed to do two parts developer and one part toner but honest to god i think that we might need a little more than that i'm just gonna do it i don't have like time to waste when my hair's already turning purple in the front oh my god This is a terrible disaster. Is this gonna turn purple? Should I check? Yeah, it is. Has happened. So obviously quite a bit has happened since we spoke last. Honestly, when I decided I was gonna do this, I really only considered two possible outcomes. One being that it was gonna come out perfect and the second being that I was literally gonna go bald. Honest to God, I never considered any other outcome. Especially, you know, the possibility that I might come out of this looking like Kathy Griffin. That is what has happened. Oh. Um, like what the fuck do I do? I fixed it. I woke up this morning obviously in a panic because I still had orange hair. I basically just put coconut oil in it all the way from root to tip and I just let it sit for a couple hours. I just had to mix up more bleach and go over the same hair. I think I got most of the orange out. I had to tone it again also. This is what it looks like you can kind of see in it overall i would rate this experience a four out of ten because even though it didn't turn out bad it was definitely a really high stress experience 
I pray to God there's not a next time, but if there is, I know to just let it process a little bit longer so that I don't have to go back in and do it twice because I think that this all could have been avoided if I had just left it in literally five minutes longer. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you watched it all the way through, I would have gotten bored, but yeah, see you next time.